The student group at the University of South Florida is suing the governor and the university's chancellor, alleging they violated their freedom of speech. This after an order issued by the chancellor deactivated the group Students for Justice in Palestine on Florida campuses. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen was at USF tonight and explains why this seems to be a preemptive measure. USF Students for Justice in Palestine has not been deactivated, but lawyers now representing that student group say that the governor's calls to have it disbanded are already impacting how it functions. The groups have felt inhibited, so that is a chill of their speech because they are in a limbo. Lawyers for USF's Students for Justice in Palestine speaking on behalf of students who say their rights are under attack. Being prevented from speaking out about this, being prevented from educating their community and sharing those public opinions is a direct attack on American values and American freedoms. The group among the USF student organizations holding rallies in support of Palestine shared in a statement that it promotes peace and condemns all forms of violence, but that it stands in full solidarity with the Palestinian resistance against more than 75 years of apartheid. Governor DeSantis says the solidarity is concerning and says state universities should not affiliate with or subsidize such organizations. We had a group, Students for Justice of Palestine. They said they are common cause with Hamas. They said we're not just in solidarity, this is what we are. We deactivated them. We're not going to use state tax dollars to fund jihad. No way. Now, again, the school says this group has not been deactivated. But this lawsuit, it seeks an injunction quashing the governor's order to deactivate the group. You can find the full complaint at 10tampabay.com. In Tampa, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. The lawsuit filed by this group is similar to the one filed on behalf of University of Florida students Friday. We have reached out to the governor's office and the state university chancellor for comment on the lawsuit. We will let you know when we hear back.